that was a hell of a disaster. The, oh, the marvels. I refused to watch it. I was like, no, I, I can't. I, I, I don't like Brie Larson, so I don't oh, yeah. what? suffer through watching. <laughs> Queen Brie? You don't like Queen Brie even yeah. after she was been uh, rehabilitated by Ryan from RK Outpost? Yeah. Honestly, I do like Brie at this point. She hasn't said anything. Uh, yeah. more. I feel sort of bad, but especially those last couples. I don't know. Does anyone even want me anymore? They're like, uh, yeah, no. Wait. She was just like, I'm never doing superhero movies. I <laughs> swear I just saw a story about her continuing yeah. to do that they're that they're going to forward with Captain Marvel 2 despite the unless I hallucinated it. I was gonna No, look no, into no, it no. Further. So they, they they canceled it. Okay. Yeah, they canceled it. So she, I know they've canceled here, a couple, but Marvel yeah, here's Green Bree. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Sorry. Okay. I'll send there goes your representation, your your <laughs> inclusion. That's it's all for you. No, not for me. I'm See? one of those self-hating women, I guess, you know. Right. You get a lot of that going around. <laughs> like a lot of times in, a, in an action movie, you know, with all this testosterone, the last thing I want to see is a girl. Because <sighs> usually a girl shows up. Why? Based. Why? <laughs> it's just a distraction for the guys. Let's just get on to the story. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm all right with that, depending on how they do it. Even that has its Sometimes uh, has it its can way. be done right, but a lot of times it's just annoying. Because it, it just feels most, like, okay, most they skill. just... They just, Most of the time, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, it's, uh, and now we're, it, you know, we're seeing it come into gaming, and yeah. I mean, it's been yeah. in gaming. We're just seeing it highlighted yeah. and going backed by mainstream. Yeah, right. Because like the the development cycles for video games are now like I don't know over a decade at this point, and so we're seeing what was what st you know what started getting developed in like 2014, and it's going to keep on going because you know if if the reckoning uh, uh you know of anti-woke is happening now we're still going to be seeing woke games until like the ps6 oh, and right. you know whatever xbox uh, is coming out next it's uh it, you know it's 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 it really it, it upsets me as I'm, I'm sure it upsets you badger <laughs> I mean, yeah, angry is in the title. At this point, maybe I should just say like resigned, ill-tempered badger because it's just like this is just par for the course. And it, it, yeah, as you say, it will get worse and then it'll get worse again because it'll get worse because like you say, it's been in development for a long time. They can't course correct. This is also what my uh, Kearns has been talking about, uh, Grums on Twitter that like, oh, this is why they'll go like they can't tank losses. So because they're going to double down and they can't course correct, a lot of these companies will just go under. The other ones, once we like really start rejecting it, because they're already seeing it now, just you see the stories, once they really start failing, like Suicide Squad level uh, failing, oh, then they're gonna get, you think they're angry now. They're just upset about that Steam curation list. Once everyone full on rejects their shit, oh, then, it, then, then things are gonna get fun. And that's gonna be across the board with the movies, everything, everything, everything. Once DEI really, really uh, realizes it's over, can't wait. Yeah. I mean, you know, you've been going all in on it in your videos. Why don't you take everybody through the the, the history, the Cliff's Notes version of the history of uh, Sweet Baby Inc. Because this, I, I I feel like this is a, a an insane story. Um, like most of these consulting companies, they're all based out of Canada. And they're all a bunch of liberal Canadian settlers, as they describe themselves. But the the end result is basically they maybe at one point were like a noble endeavor to because all of these activists need themselves and their beliefs and everything so at one point it might have been a genuine uh, uh want to do that but the thing with equity is it's very hard to enforce it or create it out of nowhere like in other words the reason you're not seeing more black girl gamers or 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 people like of uh, underrepresented groups in uh in development uh companies it's not because of some vast racist conspiracy it just maybe because it's not interested to those groups for whatever reason and so ultimately they're there to and I, I the one stipulation i will i know everyone is blaming them as the devil they're coming into already infested companies every single company here that that has hired a sweet baby inc or uh and and i know this because my dear friend nerd wars from his channel who has just spent hours of watching them their own consultants talk and complain that they don't get called into in, the end to like refine 
company decides to race swap a main character sweet baby comes in to refine that maybe add a little more yeah. oomph, but they just ruin already ruined characters yeah and it's a symptom of a bigger problem and the so i'm glad you just mentioned that it is a bigger problem because i think huge spread kind of like delayed in everything that's happened like me too in hollywood they're kind of delayed so if you saw what happened with uh activision and all the uh i mean it was just like workplace harassment and like it was just like a total tech bro atmosphere at activision and they, they all got in deep shit with uh the ceo had to resign then they got bought out by microsoft so and that all happened like not that long ago like that, right. that all i, I want to say 2021 2022 uh which was long after like the me too stuff like back in whatever 2016 2017 um so it's all sort of the same tactics right yeah i'm sure there were very real problems just like i'm sure there were obviously very real problems with me too i'm sure there were very real problems That's in activism the thing is is that these activists then use that to get rid of a bunch of people that weren't doing that yeah and then replace them with not even talented that's the other thing is it's like it would be one thing if you use those tactics to then replace them with equally talented or better but they're even yeah. worse and like again shout out to film threat for exposing uh how that was done at pixar and all that uh, with jennifer yeah. lee who ousted lassiter on essentially me too them for not really any much and then replaced them with tumblr hires because they they were hiring influencers trying to replace their fan base that they've bled away because yeah. well we know why <laughs> we're toxic Sin yeah. is toxic. She's we're, selfish. She doesn't like women. We're so toxic. toxic. Yeah. We're, we're, we're racist. We're yeah. sexist. All the yists and the obes. They all of ruined us. it. Like, dude, when, <laughs> you know, it's, it, when you keep using the word racist, it starts to lose, you know, its meaning. And, you know, wasn't it Martin Luther King that said, yo, don't judge people based on the color of their skin, but on the content of their character. Oh, we've regressed completely. That's, they don't. That's racist it's now. Though. now. Yeah, that's it's now yeah. called. That's racist. You are accused of being racist if you genuinely. That's how you actually view people. Well, that's racist. Yep. Right. Clown Which show. Which makes no sense to me at all. <laughs> Yeah, no, because it they don't want meritocracy. That's no. right. what what Martin Luther King was saying. That's that's a meritocracy. Judge people based on their yeah. merit. They don't want that. They want people based on their intrinsic characteristics. Right, because it divides people. Yeah, and well, and they, that's they, they another basically tool. weaponized Hollywood to divide the country. Yeah, because like I don't I don't remember it being like this bad. No, well, it's not. It was no. it was not. And honestly, I feel like a lot of this is just because life is too good here. We have well, to invent right, yeah. conflict well, that's part and troubles of and yeah. things to fight against. And, you know, women have to fight against this imaginary patriarchy that's supposedly still a huge thing. Mm -hmm. And I, it's like, you would never dare go over to a place like Saudi Arabia and say crap like that. So right, please right. spare me. And it's, I mean, it's so nonsensical. W women have made so much progress that they've actually surpassed men. Oh, they have, they have more rights lot. and protections than men do. They legit do from the moment they are babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Women I mean, are more protected than men are. I could go on a whole The most protected class. No, by all means. Yeah, they definitely fun. are. Well, I mean, it, it delves into territory that gets some guys a little upset, but yeah. um, women are protected from certain things done Us? to them when they're little tiny babies. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, hey, don't, don't be bringing in Pearl Davis in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the greater thing is that uh, the higher up you go, the yeah, it's a conspiracy meant to destabilize America and make us all right. upset for obvious reasons, uh, right. world economic fund people. But then just at the lower levels of like, it's oh, the, on the lower levels, first of all, it's just a bunch of corrupted people that think that this is good. They want to be on right. the right side of history. They're dumb. Right. Like, and I mean that in the loveliest sense of the word, they're not thinking they're dumb. Yeah. They're just well, trying not to get they're fired. Just and there's using their people. emotion is all right. Which exactly. Is well, and that's what they prey on generally right. logical or smart. So you don't need a conspiracy where uh, formal interests align. There's a lot of allied interests going on.